In this video, I'm going to show you how to perform the modified dynamic labral shear test to diagnose slap lesions. Get our very own assessment ebook and mobile app. Links are in the video description. Hi and welcome back to PhysioTutors. According to a study done by Soda et al. in the year 2017, the dynamic labral shear test has a sensitivity of 78% and a specificity of 51% in isolated slap lesions and a lower sensitivity of 57% and a specificity of 52% in patients with concomitant slap lesions. The clinical use of this test, especially in the concomitant group, is therefore rated as low. To perform the test, the patient is in standing position with the involved arm flexed 90 degrees at the elbow, abducted in the scapular plane to above 120 degrees, and externally rotated to tightness. Then the examiner brings the patient's shoulder into maximal horizontal abduction. Now, a shear load to the joint is applied by maintaining external rotation and horizontal abduction, and by lowering the arm from 120 degrees to 60 degrees of abduction. This test is scored positive in case pain and or a painful click or catch in the joint along the posterior joint line is reproduced between 120 and 90 degrees of abduction. Okay, this was our video on the modified dynamic labral shear test. If you're curious about more common tests for slap lesions, click on the playlist right next to me. If you want to dive deeper into clinical reasoning from screening to treatment, of the most common pathologies of the upper and lower limb, check out our Extremity Online course. As always, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.